Hey, welcome back to Moss Place. Um, I'm starting a new game. I was gonna start Aeons uh, of Sand, the trial, but um, it's actually another game I think has a bit of a higher priority for me, and I'm very excited about starting this one because I've been wanting to start it for a long time. I bought it a while back already. I think when they were on again the Space Game Junkie podcast, I think. We were talking about their game and that's like a year ago now or more um and i bought it then but i kind of wanted to stream it i already knew then but it took me like a year to actually start doing uh well not streaming but recording gameplay videos like this so lilith odyssey uh, is what i'm trying so as before i've never started up the application before or i don't know i like it that way sometimes well, rarely, but things start and it's then awkward to restart them. Like you might miss some intro videos or... The downside is I don't know what the volume of it is going to be. So I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to start it. Kind of judge just by hearing how loud it is. And then uh, stop the recording for a bit. Check it and then come back to you. So I'm just going to start it now. Here we go. Of course it's the first time being started so it has to do all kinds of uh oh, it's made in unity it says initializing this might take a while <laughs> that looks cute yeah, i'm very i i love the way this looks obviously i mean if you look at taxi not it's also quite colorful and this is quite colorful too Loading map. I think this is going to be real fun. I don't know how many people worked on this. Somehow I'm thinking two. I don't know where I get that. Oh, look at this. Wow. I love this and had sort of a window. Sort of like an old Unix shell window. Oh, you had these very basic windowing toolkits in Linux and uh, that used to sort of look like that Lilith Odyssey Alien Migration Simulator <laughs> Important Spook can change the sim Important leadership is not fun Important completion time affects leadership Lots of patch notes. Oh, they have it like that. Yeah, it's nice. Give feedback on Discord. Okay, just click through. I won't do that now, but... Hmm, that's a good idea. Wonder if I can do that in taxi now. Quit? No, we're not gonna quit. I think the volume is fine. No problem. Simulation notices. The sorry, my eyes aren't great. The what is that? Not sure. Wars have ended. The spoo are aware they are simulated. They are afraid of users, right? Settings and all that. I'll leave that go. Reddit. Have a look. Oh, here we go. Oh, there seems to be loads. Of, no, wait. It looked like loads of people, but it's the same names. Game develop game design John Watmoff and Peter S Well Sikaris Sikaris John Watmoff programming writing Peter Sikaris if I mispronounce that you know I don't know uh, 3D modeling John Watmoff and P Peter Sikaris Animation same guys art and colors John sound Peter music Peter So yeah two guys Uh in memory of Lila, who was unconditionally my friend and always inspiring. Achosh. Okay. Um, songs. Voice acting. Oh, look, they have, a, they have a load of voice actors. Testing. Nice. Okay, new game. I hope I can put my glasses on, I guess. I'm very vain. Even when nobody's watching. I mean, this is on camera and I still don't wear glasses. <laughs> I also have a feeling that the glasses actually make my eyesight worse. 
probably should go to a uh, optician or something anyway new game select family these oh wait will I check the I'll check the recording first before we do this will I or will I go into it a bit because sound effect levels might be different oh it's actually using my steam name I'm seeing now I don't want that right what added that out yeah I'll be right back Hey, would you like to explore a sci-fi fantasy universe through the eyes of a humble taxi driver? Taxinaut is a game for PC with a huge open world galaxy where you can do just that. You can fly on planets, over alien cities and landscapes, land at bars, diners, shops and many other weird and wonderful places. Take off into space and fly to different planets or other star systems. Find equipment and abilities to help you deal with the difficulties of navigating alien worlds. Taxinaut features a completable 30 plus hour storyline about finding a friend lost in the galactic underworld. Taxinaut is now available on Itch.io and Steam Early Access. So I'm back. Yeah, I was logged into my personal Steam account. Um, I know you, everybody knows my name is Jasper Paul, but that's not what my Steam account is called. So. I kind of want to keep that separate. <laughs> it's secret. Um, so I had to log out, log back into my Mosgrom account. So now here, because here you see it says the name of your Steam account. And now it's Mosgrom. Which shoots the game more, I think, as well. Anyway, uh, select a family. These families are... Yeah, I'm going to put my fucking glasses on. One moment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that still isn't great for me. I need new glasses. These families... See, I'm sitting way... <laughs> this is all very professional. These families are ready to reach planet Lilith. Select a host to control. A host? Sorry. Even with the glasses isn't great. Maybe I should move this back a bit. I have a hard time reading that. These families are ready to reach planet Lilith. Select a host to control. A host. But that's this, is it? Okay. Weld 25 GCR. Job. Ig. Monuments. Welder. Origin. The Ig. Um, grandfather, hold on there. Why immediately with the grandfather? 52, that's oh, 62, that's pretty close. Age 51, the grandmom, 61, grandson. So, where are the mom and dad? Can I change them? Difficulty chill. Sandbox mode, rogue light, revival mode. Yeah, I'll leave it on sandbox then, because that what it was on. Tutorial on, combined weld, sure. Doesn't sound like much. Oh, it's it's firmly in poor. Fishing level, farming level, spacefaring level. Fishing. <laughs> Enter Lilith simulation. So that's already. Oh, it just all stays on the same screen. Nice looks great let's see mm -hmm. Libus Arceus no no not for me mm -hmm. I think the first one actually or Phlebus no I'm going with the Moonji the Moonji what's all this family leader what's that enter a known code I pick them or oh no this is flex holes oh I see oh that is wonderful 
Look at these dudes. Um, yeah, these are all very interesting. I could be here for hours. <laughs> I love the design of the aliens. Can you rotate them? Oh, you can! Little fellas. Oh, that's a woman and grandmom. That's so cute. This is great. Oh, look at this. The Kaplorsky family. They have a grandmom, 90, a mother, 44. I would play the mother because that's the leader, I guess. Friend, age 47. Son, age... So it's sort of a... She had another husband, I'd say. And this is now her boyfriend then? A flower trader. <laughs> that is cool. Also with the... Oh, father and friend. Okay. So, he turned gay? Or he's just a friend? I mean, he's not a... You know, a romantic friend. That's how I took the other one with the mother. Father, mother, son... Grandmom, grandfather, granddaughter. I'll just go with these ones. Why? I don't know. I kind of want four. Does it make a difference? Suppose you spend more. Well, I'm not in survival mode. Whatever that is. I'll go with the first one. Just keep it simple. And anything else? No. Enter Lilith Simulation. The Jazz Gore family fiends. Just to be opened in the Mughalo galaxy. Finally fierce and aggressive. These beasts have been hunted and near to near extinction in IGD territory since the Orpino dynasty. Very few surveillance expeditions to return from the unprotected territories have noted, etc. The Munji, that's our home world. What did it say? Well, day one anyway. 544.26 light years to Lilith. Mugolo, I'm Frex. Listen, I know you're some kind of thing or user with powers that influence my simulated reality i'm risking everything by letting you control me but i'm desperate for help talking about control i again as usual i think it's traditional now moscrom forgets um oh god what's my phone? I forget to put my timer on and now my phone my phone has a finger touch unlock which it does 99 out of 100 times and all of a sudden comes your password and because I never use it I forget Yeah, I had to be oh it says incorrect Oh god, sorry one moment. I have to look this up Why is everything so annoying? Just, just. Right. I'm afraid I'm locking myself out of my own phone. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Another hurdle. Lock. Start. Don't have some idea how long we're going with the video. Right. Oh, look at this. I can rotate. Um, Mogalu, I'm Frax. Listen, I know you're quite. You're some kind of thing or user with powers that influence my simulated reality. I'm risking everything by letting you control me, but I'm desperate for help. Enter. Oh. It, it actually changed, did it? Minimize, go back. 
I can't click that because I have no mouse pointer. Arrow? No. I don't know what it said. It looked like it didn't change. I'm trusting you don't even know what you are, but will I just restart? It was probably important. Main menu. Sorry. End game. New game. These guys again. Everyone the same, right? I didn't click anything else. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're gonna have to bear with me. Right. Oh, attempt 19, weather clear. No, he's... Oh, he's still on the... Oh. What? It said something else. I didn't touch anything. It said that bit that it said before. Uh, Mogolo, I'm Frax. Listen, I know you're some kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've seen this. Enter. We're on my home world. Good old Bemunji. Born and raised here, actually, but it's dying faster each day as the IGG intro galactic government really saps all its resources. There's a world on the other side of the galaxy far away from all this crap. My family's hope for a normal life. I'm shaking. I have to choose. I'm shaking. I have to choose between a deadly journey or, or dying slowly. And I know the answer. Okay. I'm trusting you, don't even know what you are, but you're my best chance at surviving the dangers. <laughs> it's not looking good for you, fella. I mean, we're like 10 minutes in, I had sound troubles, uh, couldn't get my right account, couldn't unlock my phone. I'm not the guy, but anyway, I guess you'll have to do what I'll have to do. So I'm in the dangers of my galaxy, hopefully you can trust me too. Let me guide you through the basics. Right. Use WASD to move me around. Oh, you're there. Oh, look at him. Oh, you actually strafe sideways. That's cute. <laughs> I won't walk you into the water, actually. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Wow, okay. That felt weird. Let's press control plus mouse scroll. Oh, okay. To zoom in and out. Oh, look, I see some other people as well. The houses. Looks real cute. I love it. That's great. I just leave it zoomed out, though. Or I leave it like that. Ah, there was more there. I couldn't read it. So how do I go back? Minimize, go back. Why? No. How do I get my mouse? I don't know what it said now. You want me to run? Just hold shift while you move me. I've been doing some retinal stuff, so like I'm ready for it. Uh, okay. Scroll with the mouse middle button. Oh, you can scroll through things. Again, I just do that, but there's more to read. That's kind of annoying. Press tab and I can't do go back. I don't want to do go back. Ah. Press tab to access our inventory. I want to show you something. Okay. Uh, before she died from space madness, my grandma gave me her trusty survival manual. It's my most valuable possession and holds all the information I need to survive on alien worlds. Navigate space and its dangers and gather resources to advance my own economy. Press question mark to open the survival manual or click the button near my help bar in the top left. Oh, I have a mouse now. Thank God. And the, near my help bar in the top left. Top left, that's a help bar. Or click the button. Oh, open manual. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh my, there's a lot in this, is there? To equip spacesuit, press H at any time to equip your spacesuit. To gain suit power, suit power. Print, print P battery. 
right click and select use print p e battery right click no oh print one printing amount uh oh and he's talking still to me so i better pay attention show the show the let's use the survival manual to learn how to mine rocks chop trees and break them down into usable elements oh this has mining in it and stuff okay there's something about harvesting in there well i'm gonna have to i normally don't really play games like that i didn't know i think i should have known because it, it, it did they clearly indicated there was a survival element into it in it right just do it there's something about harvesting in there what so the manual and then harvest harvesting resources uh, add versa tool to hand slot to hold press F near rock or tree right click on harvested items in inventory to break down is it me or are those letters a bit like they're, I mean, I know my eyes aren't good, but like they're sort of hazy. Harvesting natural resources gives you items that can be broken down into carbon, metal, and nanite, which are the building blocks for printing and the currency for learning new technology. Chop trees and bushes, mine rocks, and hunt animals to gather resources. Item breakdown. Breaking down items gives you resources of carbon, metal, and nanite trees and bushes drop items that are the best sources of carbon rocks carbon rocks drop items that are the best sources of oh sorry i'm reading that wrong trees and bushes drop items are the best sources of carbon rocks rocks drop items are the best sources of metal and animals and spoo spoo <laughs> Drop items, spoo. Drop items that have a mix of carbon, metal, and nanite. Nanite is rare and only exists in certain items and can only only be collected after researching survival too. Note all items in the game harvested or bought can be broken down into resources. Tools. Add a multi-tool into one of your hand slots and then select it as the item you're holding. Press F when you stand next to trees, bushes and rocks to harvest them for resources. You can print better multi-tools or faster harvesting when you advance to survival 2 or survival 3 on the technology tree. E for that. Okay. Um, how do I get this gone? Or is this supposed to just be here always? Can I walk? No. Um, once you get some items, open your inventory, then right click on the items to break them down into carbon, metal, and nanite. Oh, I hear a mosquito. I don't like mosquitoes at all. And the building blocks of my universe, right? By the way, if you need to split a stock of items, drag the stack and right click on an empty slot to drop one one item from the stack okay off you go okay my family on the left can help with gathering resources click on their pink arrows to send them on resource gathering missions okay higher success rates for certain resources means there's a lower chance they'll get hurt gathering it get hurt I don't want that Complete all objectives to continue. How do I... Did I press escape? Oh, right. Um, that's, so how... I can... So how do I get my mouse now back? Hey, what? Space? No. Escape. Oh, okay. 
right. So how do I, is this in my hand? A potato? Where's my hands? Oh, here's hands. This is for chopping, I guess. No? Uh, right click? Break down? No. Eat? Let's eat the eggs. No. I use it. My scenery inventory. We're talking about putting it in your hand. Am I carrying it now or? Let's read the manual again. Harvest. Add a multi tool into one of your hand slots. But I only see here hands and there's like. Does it mean this thing? I can't drag it into. You flight map printing business fishing. Uh, how do I get the tool? Lamps off, suit off. I don't know how to. Or do I already have it? Do I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Do I have eight hands or something? No. Okay, let's just walk up to a tree and see if, if we press F whether it chops it. I don't know why the potatoes are pink, what that means the underneath there in the bar. New discovery. F? No. No F. How do I... I can drag it, but then I can't put it there. There? can do that. Top item. Inventory. Battery. Where's my hands then? I have to fish give it to him? No. Um, honestly, I'm poofed. How do I equip this? Okay, let's do this thing. If you like this, you can... Oh, so I just, why is it saying, am I crazy or? Into one of, well it doesn't say drag it, add a multi-tool into one of your hand slots. Okay, they mean this. And then, then select it as the item you're holding, right. Yeah, I'm thinking very complicated. So. Just like any normal other game, Minecraft or whatever, you have your slots and you can select one of them. Right. I mean, I'm criticizing myself here, not your text uh, devs. Okay, now press F, right? Oh yeah. Hit that tree, baby. Right. And then it was like right click. Oh, what's he doing? The different. Oh, that's already in my... What did he say? <laughs> um, wait, so can I put this... Oh, I have to break it down, maybe. Break down? Oh. Where'd it go? Did it go on the floor? Break down. Oh. Or do I, did I get resources somewhere? Where can I see that? Top trees. You money. Where are my resources then? Or isn't that what it said? Uh, breaking down items gives you resources of carbon, metal, and nanite. Okay. Trees and bushes drop items are best source of carbon. Um, um, um. Yeah, but where are they now? It's like... Carbon. Where can I see how much carbon I have? Lamps. Technology tree. Let's see what this says. Survival. Carbon 1. Like I don't have any. Is there a dash there? 
carbon metal but that's not an actual thing or I have that carbon 75 I seem to have it because it's green oh so how do I see no inventory print catalog oh yeah this is what I can make it's tools right yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all gonna make sense I just always have to get my head around things like this it's probably pretty obvious to everybody watching this not to me character info level 2 base speed okay I'm just wondering where the hell I can see how much carbon I have now what's actually going on here what was that character info sexual frustration <laughs> We're at 20, 30, 40, 50%. <laughs> Masturbation frequency. <laughs> 0 0.7 times a day. Hmm, okay. Um, health conditions, none. Oh, all of a sudden my sexual frustration went low. Space madness. Do I have to manually masturbate? <laughs> right. Um, carbon, where is my shit? This? What? No? That just means health? I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, that's still the task. Temperature, gravity. Rations, fuel. Oh, new discovery. Joss. Then an A, Jossa. Okay. Jossa have such sweet succulent succulent leaves that even predators have been spotted munching on their greens. Following the ripening seasons, it is not uncommon to see birds and herbivores drunk on fermented Jossa leaves. Uh, okay. Galaxy map? Oh, wow, looks beautiful. I love it. Ammo repair. Can I see it here? And the coordinates. Oh my. That zones weather, fuel, medical, contracts repair. Ammo. Oh, that's a legend. Is it? Yes, medical. This. Can you click on it? Oh. Oh, I filter them out. Right. God, I made it disappear. And it is now gone. No. Just a filter. No worry. Shit, where can I see? The amount of carbon. I got out of it, did it? Can you see it anywhere? Sorry, this is... I have to know. Space suit. Harvest. Fuel ratings. Printing tag business. Um, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to assume my carbon is increasing by doing this. Sap gives two carbon. Okay. Break it all down. Oh, I saw it there now. It's this. Right. So this is carbon, I guess. Nanites or whatever. The three things. Here it is. I saw it move. Florp? What is that? Designer? What is Florp? Is that something that was dropped or did I have that already? An air tank? Florp. Oh, I can't break it down anyway. Good. Right. We'll get there. We'll get there. But this right click thing though. How do I turn my character? Or can I? Press Q. But... Oh, you just turn like this, of course. Dickhead. 
You got to be the stupidest man alive. <laughs> you turn your mouse. Oh, I want to zoom in a bit. Control. Oh, new discovery. Um, right. Easy Orky. Oh, that mosquito is so real. It freaks me out because I don't really, I don't like that. It comes, it's like it comes close to your ear. I hate that. Sturdy and tender leaf, the easy orky earned its name from the way it grows and twists into natural chair. This bush can thrive in a range of biomes and is a common feature. Is that misspelled on purpose? Is that hair? And then it's misspelled on purpose or something? Maybe that's something I'm, I'm too old to get. Some kind of cool thing. <laughs> I don't know. This bush can thrive in a range of biomes and is a common feature of any backyard. Right. Um, and the other one? The chipple chaz. With its sprawling leafy branches, the chipple chaz is a common home for bugs and small birds alike. Ancient spoo named the tree after the chirps and buzzes resonating from its canopies. Wonderful. Um, yeah, more trees. Oh, I don't have my trusty selected. Why isn't it E? Anyway, it's F. You know, most of these games have E as the action button. Not really criticizing, just... I wonder what E does, but I don't dare to press it. <laughs> I, I have to do something for the picking up, right? I don't quite get how that works. Harvest. Breakdown. You survival. Selected. You stand next to trees, bushes, and rocks, harvest and freezer. You can print. No. All lights in the game. Can be broken down. I thought I saw somewhere. Drop items. Right click on harvest items in inventory to break down. Oh, I don't have to pick them up from the floor. Right. Go to that tree. What does right click? What is this though? No, I don't have to pick them up. F? Or is that the same action? No, it isn't. Oh yeah, they just come right into your inventory. I don't have to walk over them or whatever. Oh, that did say something. Wait, what? F? Didn't you? F? What? A grave. Not all families are as fortunate as ours. There's a grave? It's that thing though, no? Yeah, this thing. Okay, can I read it? No, I can't zoom in any further. Away from it there. Charlie boy. What is your name again? Forget. Grandpa. Oh, it's not really text, it's just. Right. Um Rocks? For rocks I will need. Let's break this stuff down anyway. No, not the potatoes, the logs. Break it all down. Got the floor. More now? No. Leaves. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, more leaves. Break it all down. Six. All down. Right. Um, so how now do I do the rocks? Can't do that with an axe, right? Now holding Versa. Oh, it's a Versa tool. Not just an axe. Why aren't you using it? Oh, he does consider that a rock. This one? Yeah. That is a rock. What did I get there? Probably doing this wrong as well. Uh, quartz. More carbon, eight metal. Uh, break it down one, break down. Oh, yeah. 
I'm starting to get it. And then I can... Protein fuels. Are they four? I can make that, I think. Yeah, because it's green. Potato farming. I will do... Oh, look, I need a lot for that. I will three. Oh, this is not, this is technologies, but can I drag this? Oh, I can, like this. Smuggling gear, advanced sailing, light engines, ethereum fuels, warp route farming routes. We're talking about better equipment. Don't see that. says here click drag to move I'm sorry folks um right print catalog print one print five versatile can I Todd suggested that you could improve them the finest and only items in the universe scroll down scroll green print things are everything Basic and heavy gathering tool. It said it somewhere, but I probably can't anyway, but... Tools. Add a multi-tool into one of your... You can print better multi-tools for faster harvesting when you advance to survival tool. Okay. So, it's not shown on the tree, but... Where is it? Like, it's not shown in here. But it will become available in the printing menu or something once I reach this. So what is it? Oh, protein fuels. I don't know what they do. Can I see that here? Um, space mode. General. Printing text. text. This just explains. Oh, I can drag the window. Nice. Fishing. Look for what it is. What? Oh wait, this one seems to open up. Okay, let's try that. Uh, technology tree. Protein fuels, right. Allows one protein fuel cell, two protein fuel well, and pro three protein fuel replicator bay. Print? No. Don't print it yet. I don't know whether that's... Any good or suppose it is. All good, is it? Potato, potato farm. Florp. Florp is important. Potato. Sorry, potato farming bay. Um don't know. Oh yeah, and I could also tell my friends to do my family to do things. Cost. What? What is that? One what? Rating? Meals. Oh, rations, not rating. Rations, 60 meals. That cost one meal. Okay. And there was something about 8% chance. I don't want them to hurt themselves though. 81% chance. But that sounds collect more carbon this one 84 or so yeah 84 percent success rate more carbon what do we need all the carbon for okay let's put him on it looking for carbon can i see them do it wonder because i saw somebody walking around That's him there, isn't it? With the pink. Hmm. Anyway. Oh no. Don't hold nothing. Right, we're gonna do some more. Get some more stuff. 
I've hit it. Right? Uh, break that down. Or. Yes. Completed. Gain carbon, honey, and metal. Oh, we have more than enough metal. Chop trees. Something was happy. Um, because I complete trees. Just grass, right? Yeah. Look at this. I love that unshaded 3D look. I wish more games would still use that. Although those trees have like, is that gold rod shading or something on it? I don't know much about 3D at all. As in nothing. Um, F. It did. Oh, I don't have to keep pressing. I kept pressing F for every hit. No need. Lorp? No. Logs, yes. And sticks. Do I have to save this? Like I've done so much already. <laughs> um, chop trees 4 out of 5 and mine rocks 2 out of 5. Is this a rock? Oh, it is. Right. It, does my carry thing get full then or what? We have to get rid of them. I'm afraid if I then chop trees, it, it won't fit in there or something. Dip, 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 dip. That's a rock there. Is it? No, that's not a rock. Oh, that's just kind of a patch. That looks like a rock. No? No. Decorative. This? No. Maybe it's basically if I can walk through it. It's not. What's up there? It did? No, also not a rock. Sure looks like a rock. Mugado. Mugado. Who's that? Who are you? You No, oh, you don't look like anybody in my family. I thought you were my family. Be safe, be safe. What? Talk. Do no, I won't talk to you. Chop no? Talk. Zayer hey. Cheya. <laughs> Selling stuff to Zayer hey. I'll take one of those air tanks off you for twenty two credits. Reject, accept. Um, I'll just close. I don't want to reject or I just want to... No, I don't want to sell anything because... I don't know what it's worth yet. Um, okay, rocks. This looks rocky. Nope, not rocks. Maybe? Well, I'll do a tree then. Oh, it says F anyway. Walk up to it. Um, break it all down. Break it all down. See? See, I have my microphone further away now because I need to sometimes go to the front like this to read some things. Because I'm blind. Um, I need to get one of those stands, those big cranes, things, those arms I can hang my microphone on. They have them for Yeti, I saw on Amazon, I've already checked, it's only 16 euro. Don't know why I didn't order it immediately. Problem solved. No, I have to mull it over. 16 euro. Whatever. More trees. Chop trees. Oh yeah, we've chopped enough trees though. Rock. 
No, that's not a... I got a real mine. That's a rock. Right, four? That's a rock too. Oh, with the white stuff on it. I think. Yes. Right. I'm starting to understand this harvesting stuff now to how to make now to make use of it. Sure. Enter. We need to find a way to make rations for our journey. I think I read something in the survival manual about growing food for rations. Let's try to make 20 rations. Okay. After you make enough rations, let's talk about the situation with our ship. The survival manual will teach you how to make rations. But you are... Oh, thank God I can drag you. Survival manual. How to make rations. Research farming tech. Print farm and florp. Equip farm to hand slot. Equip the farm to the hand slot and deploy. Drop florp into farm. Take vegetables. Right click them and select convert to rations. Ew. Research farming tag. Let's do that first. Because um, I saw that. Not like potato farming? So any farming tag. Good. Plus 20 farming experience. I printed it. Makes sense. Just checking. Just checking whether I understand things correctly. Print catalog. No, then what? Print farm and florp. Farm. Storage, air, air tank. Florp. Potato farm. Wait, let me break this down because there might not be a room otherwise. Break down all. I don't know what happens if you don't have the room. I have florp here. Can I put this in my... I can. Dirt. Can you break it down? I want that. Break it all down. Oh, that's where it ends up when your hands are full. So I already had that situation. Air tank is that? What does that do? I'm afraid to take that off. The battery. Potatoes. Anyway, uh, potato farm. Print. Yes. And then. And florp. We also need florp. So florp. I have florp. I'll do it though. Florp. And then. Equip farm to hand slot and deploy. Drag florp. Okay. Equip farm to hand slot. Oh, I'm in the wrong. No? Oh. Right, let's. I'm gonna deploy that. Closer to the houses, no? Not much here. Can I rotate it or anything? Can I make it? No. Guess we'll learn that later. Or maybe you just can't. Here. I'll put it there. Click. F. Right click. What's the problem? Oh, E. Materialized building. Oh, that's E. Oh, R. Rotate. Oh, God. It's not hard. Just need not to be a moron. Yeah, with the entrance towards there. I think it's nice. And then... Oh yeah, that looks cool. I love the whole look of this game. It's just beautiful. What can I say? 
Okay, I didn't put it down so beautifully, but can go in there? No. Oh wait, what does it say? Dematerialized building, rotate, use farm. It's probably the next thing I need to do, but let's just check. Drag floor into farm. Oh, I, I put the drag floor into farm. So, like, or drag it into the farm. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't. Drag floor into farm. But I can't drag anything without this menu. Or drag it into farm. Could have done. Eh? Equip from hand slot and deploy. Drag Florp into farm. Use farm maybe. Use it. Then see what happens. F. Oh, here it is. Potato farm. You get a little input Florp, output potatoes. What the fuck is Florp? This building generates potatoes when provided with Florp. Well, I got Florp. Potato batch completed. Yes, and then I just take them, I guess. Yes, not complicated. Um. Okay. Have you made enough rations? How many? Oh, I have to convert them still, don't I, or something. Take the vegetables, right click item and select convert to rations. Oh, cool. Yeah. Convert one. Okay. How much? Convert all. So, let's just see. It's seven. And I have 60 meals. Will I have 67? That? Yes, it makes sense. <laughs> you know, some of these strategy games and stuff. Then all of a sudden there's another number and you're like, why? Um, okay, but so that's the farm. Can I just leave it? I haven't made enough yet. I need more potatoes. So more floor. I have plenty of floor. I just put it in there. I have some potatoes here too. Can I avoid all the rations? No. So, 10 more. And 10 floor will give me. Oh, is it doing it? 8. Did that give me 16? Yeah. Yes. Potato batch complete. Convert them all, it's fine. Right. So, my life savings are a whopping 50 point... No, 50 galactic... Credits, PCR. We can save up some money here and buy a better ship for the journey, or we can just take my V flare up to you. Pickies and Blast Express stores sell ships. So, buy a better ship? Well, I would normally uh, save up and buy a better ship. That would mean we'd hang around here for a long time, is it? Probably kind of want to see. You also, I'm in 45 minutes. I'm always scared to break off a tutorial. You have to save then, come back. That's a complicated thing to do. In the taxi nut tutorial, you can't really... S There's a short bit in the beginning. You can't save during that bit. Because ah, that's just so complicated. Mine is only 10 minutes, but there's not such a lot to explain. But anyway, just saying, I'm actually <laughs> of tutorials in the middle. Um, so this 
this episode might run over until I'm out of this thing. Right. Enter. Okay. Well, I'm ready when you are. Um, when ready, go press space bar to beam us up. Objectives track the ISO system using the map. Activate navigation ball. Deploy sails. Dock next to planet Kohashu. Like, do I have the ISO system? I can't even, where am I? Where are we? Dickies? Punta? I search? Can this. Wait, I want to get the potato farm thing out of my face. Go away. The potato farm. Are we still busy? Did I now miss something or. Oh, that's the distance. I thought there was a time running on it. Right, go away with the potato farm and then. Uh, what was it? Um, galaxy map? No. Dead zones, hostile zones, ammo repair. Where the hell am I though? Forecast. Clipless drag to move. No waypoint selected. I'm on something with a B. What is it again? My home world. The Numia or something. But, like, how big is this thing? Oh. Wow. <gasps> Looks so cool. I love this. And there's a black hole in the middle or something. But now, of course, I lost all idea of where I am. Oh wait, is that me? Go in there. He's zooming already. <laughs> Bumunu, that must be it. S. And they were talking about Izu. Right? Track. What does that mean? The Izu The track is... Oh no. This works. Track the ISO system using the map. Track it. Right. This is the map. Oh, let's see that for a sec. Cool. It is cool. Track. Completed. Activate navigation ball. E. I must be out of this, or maybe I must be in space before I can do that. It's just must be no deploy sails. Yeah, let's go into space. When ready, press space. Are you sure you want to beam up? Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to IGG Radio, your hub for breaking news and a mix of government-approved hits. That's all very nicely done. I'm just listening to the radio. <laughs> Love it. Completed. Optional. Activate navigation ball B. Yep. Don't know what that does, but... How do I rotate? Docked. Oh, I'm docked. Deploy sails. Yes. Oh, let's read this. Ah, this is terrifying and incredible. I feel like ripping off my shirt and roaring into the cosmos. Is that weird? Screw it, roar. Good old IGG radio bringing us government approved entertainment. Looks like the bottom right of our flight controls has the radio options. Uh, bottom right of our flight controls. I see a lot here. Parked. Ball. Gale. Headlights. Wait, looks like the bottom right of the flight has the radio options. What is this? Here? Oh, here it is. 
Add free IGFM AM Ham. Yes, uh, and feel free to lower the volume when thing gets annoying. The survival manual has map navigation section. Let's try to get to the ISO star system and dock at planet Majula. Use the map to track the ISO star system. I done that already. But how do I deploy the sails? Well, there's buttons behind this. Shit, I can't see what they are. Um, escape? No. Ship status. Sails? Are they already? They're green. Here, junk items. Ooh. Ship view, backpack. Sail? How do I deploy the sails? Technology tree. Base bar to beam down. That's right. We have to Let's undock go. or something. Level. All. all scale. Yeah, I don't know what these mean. Manual. Light. Click navigation square, drag square to steer ship. Click square again to disengage. Movement warp. Formulate the rhythm for a pitch potch jam. Break. Hold W. Hold S. Oh yes. Light the potch pipe. Break to complete stop. Light up. Press C to deploy cells. Sorry. <laughs> C. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how to do this yet. Click this. Oh, okay. And I. What's this? That's the sails? <laughs> right. I hope I don't run into anything because I, I don't. I don't even know how to slow down yet. Do I have this. Can I use the mouse? No, that's zooming. It. Uh, that paused it. No. Nope. Doesn't does it? Oh my! W increase engine power. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, there I see. Oh, it says there are letters as well. I'm still now. Uh, Z. Sailing? What Z? Oh, wise maybe. Groove. Stabilized. Level. Headlights. Right, anyway. Complete deploy sales. Dock next to planet Koheshu. Koheshu. Is that in ESO? Galaxy map? ESO system map? Doesn't say. Crack. Okay, let's just warp there. <laughs> if I knew how. Um, tracking? No. Warp. Hold shift. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out sailing. Uh, powering sails. Solar highways. Wait, warp. Hold shift. But I have to hold it in the right direction, no? 
Um, let's see if I can see some indicator somewhere. Oh look, there is something. Right, so that's ISO. Can I click on it or something? No. No. So oh, is that precise enough? And then shift. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, and it's really like one continuous space. That's a lot cooler than most games. I mean, even it. Well, even in No Man's Sky, for example, you know, warping is just a loading screen. Oh, I need energy or something? I think I'm out. Am I? Fuel? Oh, what's the problem? Duck next to planet connection. I hope that is in... Uh, uh, beat? No. Uh-oh. I think I'm out of fuel or something, but here it says. What's this? That's the speed, the sails, sailing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also. Am I going towards it anyway? Or something? It's reducing slowly, but surely. Will take a while to get there like this, but um. kill ball. Oh, that thing. Oh, yeah, the navigation ball is kind of annoying. I know. Kind of an interesting visual thing. But, um, so am I supposed to... It's just fine. I guess. Wait until this reaches... Am I gaining fuel? I just burned all my fuel, did I? Why doesn't it here say... Let's for one moment. Tip status. Engines. Where do I see fuel? L speed, fuel efficiency. Um, I don't get this bar. It seems to be full, no? And then how it works? Warp. Basics. The galaxy is a vast what? charting a strategic course that lets you sail using starlight is the best way to make use of your limited fuel reserves. Continue combine your ship movement with a navigation plan that allows for solar sailing. See the navigation tab for details on targeting destinations and orienting your space flight. See solar sailing for details on powering engines by a starlight. Researching or buying advanced ship parts like engines, fuel tanks and solar silt sorry, will make your ship fly faster and more efficiently. Okay. Yes, yes. Now Paul. Sailing. Spoo technology can convert starlight into engine power via solar cells. This method of space travel is the most fuel efficient, but still requires that the ship have fuel to burn. Planning a course that stays close to starlight helps save the ma most fuel, which can be used for blasting through dangerous areas or empty expanses of space. Powering sails to get the maximum potential out of solar sails, Ships should fly relatively close to stars, 8 to 12 light years, to absorb their solar energy. Larger stars have wider solar energy. To pay attention because I'm still moving. Um, solar energy radius is the blue sailing meter below cruise speed 
indicates how much power the sails are holding. Hitting groove and sails glowing blue means they are powering engines at full potential. Hitting groove. Solar highways. Star rich areas of the galaxy have an abundance of solar energy making them ideal for inter uninterrupted uh, sail solar sailing. Highly traveled areas of the map hold the most stars. Hitting groove. Right? Oh again, very close anyway, so we're good. I don't seem to be able to use my engine again though. Is it... Um, I mean, are we charging or... Right, where is... Can I now see the planets? In location. I can't click it this time. Let's just stop. Probably not the best idea. Cannot land here. No, I'm pressing W. No? W was to increase speed, no? Confused. Oh no, W was warp, was it? Manual. Flight. Warp? No, hold shift. Ship? Where was that thing? Or was that in this stuff? Nope. Oh shit, how do I go? <sighs> hold shift. Steering movement. Press and hold to engage engines. Yeah. And of course. Seem to have no fuel, and I'm not in the groove. Can't turn. Oh, okay. Oh, because of course my sails aren't deployed. Right, but if I slow down, oh, it automatically. On deploys the sails. Okay. Wait. Now how do I? Now? Not that. Why is that? Oh, it's here at the side now. Galaxy map. System map. Track. Ulcrete. Asteroid. Oxma. Air week. It walk. Majula? Iso, it told me to go to Iso. Isn't it? Oh shit. They all stay open. Ice. Majula? This music. <laughs> like a Tom Wait. How did, they, how did they get all this music? That's great. There's a lot in this game. Um, yeah, I'm just clicking around to see if I can find because here it says, wait, close. Sorry. Escape. Um, dock next to planet Konesu. Wasn't I track the ISO system use the map? Activate navigation bar. Com deploy sail dock next to planet Con Hashu. Was that in the other one then? I shouldn't have warped or whatever. Post this. Uh, this the map. Deep bank. Co Kona. The Menka, that's the star. Yes. No. 
Oh, I don't see it there either. Am I nuts? No. Talk next to planet Kohesu. I don't see no Kohesu, man. I see no Kohesu homes. Jeez, we run really over. It's now one hour and six minutes. Can I just quit now and go back to it later? I want to find the Kohesu though. In some sense. Can I search? Ekoesu? I can't believe it isn't here. Oh, great. Orma? No? 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 Don't see no Koesu. Definitely not. Not a bug, is it? I doubt that. Uh, I'll go to that thing, whatever that is. Go with the sails, I guess. Are we speeding up? Oh, Dock next to planet Konesu. I don't know where that is. Can I go here? Or is that just kind of like a gas thing, nothing? Don't dare to fly into it either. land here. Cheat. We still can't use the engines either. That looks like a planet. Let's go there. Oh. Deploy the sails. I see this game might Take a bit to uh, get the hang of. That's alright. I don't mind that at all. So I'm gonna go to that planet. And I hope I can dock there or something. And then I'm gonna, yeah, call that an episode because. I was just getting really long. Also. My wife is making dinner downstairs, things are nearly done. It's burgers, so I'm not gonna miss that. Oh look, achievement unlocked. Follow the light. Right? Don't get the engine situation though. Why can't I? Is it not charging up the engine? Or I'd have to read that very carefully. I love it though. Definitely gonna play a lot more of this. The whole vibe of it. How is this game not better known? Like I don't see that. No offense, I don't see that much about it. There's so much like the music. Really nice visuals, I think. All the details and everything is different than another. A little bit different than other space games. The whole UI, I think, is wonderful. It's like simple, but in a, in a good way. Right, right. So what do I do? Just kind of... Suppose I could open the manual. Yeah, reading. Uh, S? Just kind of trying to do an orbit, sort of? Does docked. That's simple. Right? And your space bar? Welcome to Pulgreet. Oh stop. 
it. Are you sure you want to be done? No. Still moving, I'll have to click, sorry. Um Like gear first. Select the tool items, select the background. No, I don't. Can I just I think I'm gonna leave it here. And then ready for space with the beams. Yeah, this is kinda of lost anyway, so Doyle? He restarted? See there's no go forward. That's a bit tutorial. Go back. Oh, okay. Well I'm ready when you are. Oh yeah, enter. Oh no, I just did go back. Yeah, that's confusing. Um yeah, so now what? Main menu? Yes. Saves automatically. Save game. I guess that saved it. Well, I'll hope I'll be there, else we'll just start over and we'll be a bit faster because I know a bit more what I'm doing. No big deal. Looks wonderful. I really like it. Wow. Uh, visually, I love it. Anyway, um, yeah, see you next time. So, um, bye.